Mozzie and Mitch. Mozzie and Mitch lived with their family on the shore of a Queensland tropical island. The two little spoonbills were happy until one day they met a boastful parrot. Look at me, said the parrot. Look at my colourful feathers. I'm the most beautiful bird on the island. But you're just black and white spoonbills. There's nothing beautiful or special about you. Mozzie and Midge were sad because they believed what the parrot said. Let's find a way of making ourselves beautiful, said Mozzie, who was three minutes older than Midge and full of good ideas. So they set off. They came to a swamp where the mangroves grew. Emerald and russet leaves shook in the breeze. If we picked those leaves, we could wear them, said Mozzie. Now we look beautiful, said Mozzie. No, said Midge, we look like spoonbills wearing silly leaf skirts. They took off their leaf skirts and decided to try something else. They came to some soldier crabs with aqua and red shells. If we ask the crabs to sit on our heads, they'll look like splendid crowns, said Mozzie. Now we look beautiful, said Mozzie. No, said Midgey. We look like spoonbills with soldier crabs on our heads. They thanked the crabs, who scuttled away. I have another idea, said Mozzie. They came to a rock pool where a friendly octopus lived. If we ask the octopus to squirt us with his ink, we'll be a stunning new colour, said Mozzie. Now we look beautiful, said Mozzie. No, said Midgey, we look like spoonbills covered in strange purple blotches. They thanked the octopus and washed off the ink. Next, they saw a school of crimson-bellied flying fish. If we ask for some of their scales, we could make glamorous disguises, said Mozzie. Now we look beautiful, said Mozzie. No, said Midgey. We look like spoonbills with very stupid masks. They thanked the flying fish and shook off the scales. Never give up, said Mozzie. They saw a big group of butterflies, every colour of the rainbow. If we ask the butterflies to land on our backs, we'll have wonderful rainbow tails, said Mozzie. Now we look beautiful, said Mozzie. No, said Midgey. We look like spoonbills with butterflies coming out of our bottoms. They thanked the butterflies who fluttered off. I give up, said Mozzie. Sadly, Mozzie and Midgey returned home. All around them, the fish, the prawns and even the rocks were more colourful than they were. Where have you been, asked their mum. We've been trying to make ourselves beautiful, said Mozzie. But we're just black and white spoonbills. There's nothing special or beautiful about us, said Midgey. You silly duffers, mum said. How do you think you got your name? You are the only bird on the whole island that has a spoon for a bill. You can dig with it, dip with it, scoop with it, and splash with it. That makes you very special indeed. Mozzie and Midge 
eat, splashed each other and laughed. Having a spoon for a beak did make them very special. It even made them beautiful. We are fine just as we are, said Midgey. Mozzie agreed and so did the rest of the family. But every now and again they all dressed up just for fun. It was Mozzie's idea. He was full of good ideas. I still think I'm the most beautiful bird on the island, said the boastful parrot. Oh, be quiet, said the octopus. And he squirted the parrot with ink. <laughs>